I have always been fascinated by the world of macro programming. Once you prove one cycle, the amount of satisfaction it gives is limitless. In this video, I will open the world of macro programming to you by taking you through the program for a hexagon. Simply change the size of your hexagon and your job is done. I will show it first in Siemens controller and then explain the changes to be made for Fanuc. If you like the video, do not forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe the channel for more such videos. Happy learning. This uh, is a hexagon and we will see the calculations involved in a hexagon. What is available to us through drawing is a cross flat dimension of hexagon. Now we need to find what is the minimum diameter of raw material required to produce this a cross flat hexagon. To do this, now we have a right angle triangle of which the angle is 30 degree because the total degree is 360 and a hexagon divide 360 by 6 so that becomes 60 and this is half of it so this is 30 degree. Now we have this side. Now for this right angle triangle this becomes the adjacent side which is half of this across flat. This is hypotenuse of the right angle triangle and for this particular hexagon this becomes the radius of minimum round. This is the y distance when you calculate the coordinates for each point this becomes a y distance. Now for this right angle triangle cos 30 equals adjacent side which is half of across flat by hypotenuse which is radius of minimum round. So cos 30 equals half of across flat divided by radius of minimum round which gives radius of minimum round equals half of a cross flat divided by cos 30 and y distance you can calculate because now you have two sides of a right angle triangle so y distance equals this is the longest side which is the radius so square root of radius square minus half of a cross flat square So this is a cutter position for doing this to start with. Now we have another right angle triangle. This distance is half of a cross flat plus tool radius. And this distance is raw material radius plus tool radius plus clearance. This clearance is required for the tool to safely position. And this becomes a safe Y. Safe Y equals square root of R square minus X square. We will see the program. To make a hexagon using R parameters, there is nothing but macro. We will open the program. The first line is definition of uh, blank. So in this case, uh, we have considered a cylinder, a round road of uh, diameter 
and uh, 20 mm height then this is machine home position to call rpm then all these things are r parameters so these are all different variables so in siemens up to 99 numbers r1 to 99 for exact usage of numbers it is recommended to see the corresponding machine manuals so the across flat dimension and automatically using the across flat uh, radius and then the diameter of raw material is calculated here so the same thing is called in r13 in case you want to give a different diameter here you can give this is a cutter diameter and from what z value to what z value you want to make this profile hexagon profile so in this case 0 to minus 10 depth of cut is defined here so before seeing what are the parameters used and how the calculations are used We'll have a look at the simulation. Click here for the simulation. Here you can see the depth Z minus 6, Z minus 7, Z minus 8, 9, 10. So it is finished. Now we'll come back to the program. We'll see how it is calculated. These are the drawing parameters. Now, there are two ways of uh, compensating the cutter radius. One is manual compensation and another one is automatic compensation using G41, G42. So here we are going to use manual compensation because it is easier to calculate so what we are going to do is whatever is this hex size in this case 24 mm will add the cutter diameter of 10 mm that means it will become 34 mm so r10 24 is the original value that is modified by the original r10 plus R14 which is a cutter diameter so effectively instead of 24 it will become 34 now we'll see how to calculate the start x and start y start x is nothing but half of the across flat dimension then we need to calculate the corner so that R24 is taking raw material diameter by half, cutter diameter by half, and 1 mm clearance. For that, there is a radial value. So, for that, what is the y value? It is calculated here using Pythagoras theorem. So, using R24 and R22 y is calculated now for the other corners we need to calculate again r so here that is calculated using cos and using that r the y is calculated here here again pythagoras theorem is used now we start with the program so 
with G54, the Y position is given. The next position what we have calculated here is given. Tool is called to Z50, a safer position. Then the profile is started. So first uh, Y is a positioning coordinate. So this coordinate already we have calculated here, R26, safe value for Y. So G0, Y equal to R26. Then X equal to R22, the X position. There is a cutting position. Then Z equal to R16. R16 is the started up curve. So we are starting with R16. Then it goes to Y, next coordinate, then XY, then again XY, then Y, XY, XY. Then again we are coming back to Y0. Then a safer X. So that means one profile for hexagon is complete. Now again, here we need to go to the next depth of cut. So one M and depth of cut we have said. So first if it is cutting in uh, zero, the next it has to go to minus one. So R16 equals R16 minus R20. R16 is the original start value. R20 is the depth of cut. So whatever is the original value to that, that 1 mm will get incremented. That means minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, like that it will go. Now, after doing that, the R16 value of R16 is checked. If it is more than or equal to R18. What is R18? That is the end depth. <laughs> So that is continuously being checked. First, whatever is started up in that one profile will be cut. Then the depth of cut will be incremented and it will be continuously checked against the end depth. So as long as this depth is greater than or equal to the end depth, that means it is up. Then it will go to B start one. Go to B is go to back. That means towards the start of the program. And start one is a label. Start one. Here you can see. So this will, the control will move from here to here again. That means it is a looping. Then again this will be repeated. Then the moment value of R16 becomes less than in depth. That means it, it goes down. Then the loop will close and it will come out. This is a safer Z. That means the machine home. You need to check in your machine where is your uh, SUPA Z0. SUPA means suppress all offsets. So Z0 has to be machine Z0. You need to be sure that it is a safer position. And the program is getting ended. So again, we will look at the program. So there are different views. You can see from front, then from right, then different views 3d view so this has started from 0 to minus 10 and finished now we'll see the simulation again in top view and in single block so that we will see the things step by step so this is the top view of your part Cutter is first positioned in a safe Z. 
with G54 and it is positioned in Y, whatever we have defined there, calculated. Then it is positioned in X. You can see there is a gap of around 1 mm. That is what we have programmed. So when you go position in Z, the cutter will not foul with the part. There is a clearance. Now Z50, again it is safe. Z is positioned to whatever value you want. So it is going to Y. XY. XY. Y. XY. X, Y, Y, 0. So this is what uh, we have considered as X, 0, Y, 0, center of the round. And then safer X. So this is again coming out of the part. So for the next, uh, for repeating the profile for the next depth, uh, the cutter will go up and then again it will repeat. So here now it is Z0, now it has gone to Z-1 and this will repeat. So I will change the single block and cut. Minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 9, minus 10. Finish.